The Warriors are starting off the season with one major problem, and that problem just has been revealed. The Warriors are in Hawaii right now, they're in training camp, and we're now seeing that with the departure of Klay Thompson, the Warriors have a lot of questions they don't even have an answer to. Golden State Warriors coach Steve Kerr has a very open-ended question he is hoping to answer throughout training camp. Who is going to be his starting lineup. NBA fans believe that the Warriors roster this season is not a playoff team and they're commanding the Warriors to make a trade so the Warriors get better. But when you look at the Warriors roster on paper, they're not that bad. If they can mesh together the perfect starting lineup, the season could turn out well for them if they perfectly solidify rotation around Steph. There is an obvious opening at the shooting guard position, a job formerly occupied by Klay Thompson, but there are other opportunities as well. Kerr has said that all but Stephen Curry and Draymond starting jobs are up for grabs. Let's first just start there. Steph is the number one spot. He's the point guard of the team. But what about Draymond Green? Is he the four or is he the five? Last year we started him at center. I think it's it's more uh, feasible now given that the league is, is you know, playing faster and more three-point shooting all that. But still, there's part of me that's like 82 games of Draymond playing center, and uh, there are there are teams trying to play bigger now. And so I don't love I don't love the idea of just Draymond being the, the starting five and playing heavy minutes there game after game. Draymond is, you know, he's obviously starting. I just don't know where four or the five. Um, and we have to figure that out in this camp. The main quote, I don't love the idea of Draymond being the starting five and playing heavy minutes their game after game. Draymond is going to have to play center at some points during the season, especially if they want to go small ball, but he won't start at the center. Draymond will be the starting power forward for sure. But the biggest question is who is going to replace Klay Thompson at the starting shooting guard spot? Steve Kerr says there is competition across the board. It's not as simple as who is going to be the two. It's got to be who is going to be the five. Who's the four? We know that Steph is the number one, but what's the combination? The starting lineup is gonna have to be dependent not only on the first five fitting, but the second fitting as well. We've got a lot of work to do to figure out lineups. All the guys can do is compete and play their butt off. I love this mindset of Steve Kerr. He wants to make sure that the starting five is a great combination, but not only the starting five, he wants to build the next five as a great combination as well. He's basically saying the Warriors have a lot of depth. For the starting shooting guard position, it's simple. It'll be between Brandon Popzimski, DeAnthony Melton, or Buddy Heald. These are the three players fighting for the starting shooting guard spot. Steph Curry says this, We have a defensive-minded guy like Melton. You've got a guy who is a connector and can put the ball on the floor, create like Brandon Popzimski, and obviously me and Brandon Popzimski started a couple times last year. You've got Buddy who can shoot, who spaces the floor, and is a veteran. We've got a lot of options. Steph Curry is just an awesome captain. He highlights the best out of all the shooting guard options. Steve Kerr says, I want Brandon. I want Moses. I want DeAnthony. I want to be a high volume shooting team. I think that's important to us. The big shift is Clay is not here. So we're fourth in the league in three point attempts last year, but Clay probably shot eight to 10 of them. So we're gonna have to fill that void. That will come from multiple people. My prediction for the starting shooting guard position for the Warriors is Brandon Popzimski. The fact that Steph said he played with BP last season, there's already chemistry and a relationship there. Not only is Brandon a great catch and shoot player, he's also a good playmaker. That will assist in the Stephen Curry motion based system the Warriors have. My pick is Brandon starts at the shooting guard position. But who will be the starting small forward and center? I have a good prediction coming up. Shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring Easy Buckets. The NBA season is literally about to start and you need to get your tickets right away on SeatGeek because they're cheap. Ticket prices are already available on the website and the app and you can literally see the value of each game on the market. So go check out the app or the website right now. You'll see how much a ticket costs. SeatGeek also sells tickets to concerts and the other sports games, music events, any event that requires ticket purchasing 
So get your cheap tickets on SeatGeek today. Let's see how much the Warriors opener game is. Warriors are taking on the Blazers. The Blazers. Okay, I want two tickets. Wow, a ticket could be as cheap as $46 for two tickets for the Warriors to take on the Portland Trail Blazers. Check out the SeatGeek app. And we've partnered with SeatGeek giving Easy Buckets fans a discount promo code. Use our code EASYBUCKETS on SeatGeek. You will get $20 off your first purchase. Use the code today, get your cheap tickets, and go to an NBA game or any event as soon as possible. The battle for the small forward position is between Jonathan Kaminga and Andrew Wiggins. It's simple as that. Who will start at the three? Before talking about that, there's been speculation that the Warriors would play Jonathan Kaminga at the four spot. But Draymond Green has a few words to say about that. Uh, I think he's a three. Yeah. Uh, it's always been my opinion. That's, gonna change. that's that's not going to change, I think. You know, to play the four, it requires a certain skill set. Um, you know, so oftentimes, people approach the fours if it's not a position. You think like, oh, I can just move a guy there. You know, it's a position that you have to know how to play. It's like, you know, you never hear You don't think anybody can play point guard. The four is the same thing, you know? It's, it requires a certain skill set, a certain knowledge, a certain understanding of that position to do that. Um, he's never done it. So, can he adjust and learn that? I don't know, can a receiver Learn how to be a quarterback in two years. So, you know, um, my eyes are through. There it is, simple. One of the Warriors' captains said it. Kaminga should play the three. He's never done it. Can he adjust and learn that? I don't know. Can a receiver learn how to be a quarterback in two years? In my eyes, He's a three. My pick for the starting small four position is Jonathan Kaminga over Andrew Wiggins. I believe Andrew Wiggins is going to be a great six man off the bench and coming off the bench with a veteran experience impact. But Jonathan Kaminga is the second superstar behind Stephen Curry. Give Kaminga the keys to the offense with Steph. So my prediction for the Warriors rotation, the starting lineup is Stephen Curry, Brandon Popzimski, Jonathan Kaminga, Draymond Green, Trace Jackson Davis. Their bench rotation, DeAnthony Melton, Buddy Heald, Andrew Wiggins, Kyle Anderson, and Kavon Looney. This is a 10-man rotation that can do damage in the league. This feels like a new beginning for us, whereas last year felt like an extension of who we already were. It gives us a chance to reinvent ourselves a little bit. I want to suggest one trade the Warriors should do this season, and that's targeting Marcus Smart of the Memphis Grizzlies. What the Warriors lack is their backcourt elite defense depth. Steph is not known for his defense. Brandon Popzinski is undersized. Marcus Smart coming into being the starting shooting guard for the Warriors with Steph would solidify an even better starting lineup. The Warriors can offer a simple trade of Moses Moody, Gary Payton II, and Kavon Looney in exchange for Marcus Smart. The Grizzlies get depth and the Warriors solidify their starting lineup even better. So what is your prediction on the Warriors starting lineup? How far will the Warriors go? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. But James Harden surprised us at NBA Media Day, and he said a few words that shocked the NBA world and shocked Clippers fans. You have to check out this video. It's my most recent one, and we deep dived into this topic. But other than that, take it easy. God bless, and I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets.